grew up uh, proudly in the Bronx, Bronx, New York. My father was enlisted in the Navy uh, during World War II. Here was a first-generation American whose parents barely spoke English, spoke Yiddish. My father's naval career was an important part of who he was, really embedded in him what an incredible country America is. To this day, every time I go into a member of Congress's office, every time I walk past the Capitol, I'm in awe, I think about my father. He would not believe that grandchild of immigrants could be in this place, but this is what America is. I think of myself as a Bronx boy, and here I am. It's kind of funny. At every stage of your life, you're looking for meaning. For me, that's, that's where APEC comes in. All the work I do with APEC, I'm doing for the United States and Israel. And, you know, my father taught me how wonderful this country has been to us as Jewish Americans. And this is a place where I can really effectuate uh, the relationship between two countries that I love. APEC is, uh, is a big tent, and uh, that's why I love it. Uh, we're Jewish Americans. We're Americans that are not Jewish. We're Latinos. We're African Americans. We're Democrats. We're Republicans. We all come from different places, uh, different experiences, but we all check a lot of Michigas at the door because we're there for one core mission, the U.S.'s relationship. In the next five years, it's imperative that we grow APAC with that core mission in mind so that we can stay effective. When you lobby, I feel this could be a very important moment. Every APAC activist, every conversation they have with a member of Congress, every political event that they attend, they all add up and you don't know which conversation, what thing you're doing is going to really make a change. And sometimes it's one conversation. It really doesn't matter. It's all of our conversations together that move the ball along, that move it down the field. We're living in the time of a miracle. We're blessed to live in a time when there is a modern Jewish state of Israel. It is a miracle. We have to be part of that. It has to be something that we're involved in every single day and say, what can I do for the safety and security of Israel?